so the question is briefly explain the foreign exchange market with fixed exchange rate with the help of a diagram so in this exchange rate the government fixes the exchange rate at particular level so the normal exchange rate is e okay now the government wants to increase the export so that the government will show the rupee as very cheaper to the foreigners okay so if the government wants to encourage export to which it needs to make rupee cheaper for foreigners it would do so by fixing higher exchange rate okay so if the government want to encourage export so it has to show rupee cheaper for the foreigners by fixing higher exchange rate like 70 per dollar from the current exchange rate of 50 per dollar okay so by se setting the new rate the government is increasing the equilibrium from e to e1 by that the demand will be less and supply will be more demand will be less and supply will be more it will create excess of supply so when there is excess of supply okay when e1 is greater to e at this exchange rate the supply of dollar the supply of dollar will exceed then the demand of the dollar okay the demand of the dollar will be less when compared to the supply of the dollar in this case the rbi will intervene to purchase the dollar for rupees so that it can observe the excess supply okay this is the excess supply so that the rbi will try to intervene and it will try to purchase the dollars and it will give off the rupee so that they can balance this one okay on the other hand if the government want to uh, increase the demand if the government want to uh, increase the import we can say okay so, so if the government is wanting to increase from this equilibrium to this e to equilibrium then the supply will be very less when compared to the demand okay the the government we need to start to which the money he was holding okay when the money which was kept as reserve that also come for the supply because the demand of the dollar is very high when compare with the supply of the dollars i hope you are clear with this so the market determine exchange rate is e so the government want to encourage export to which it need to make rupee cheaper for foreigners it would do so by fixing higher exchange rate that is 70 out of 50 by that e1 will be higher than e it means that supply will be excess and the demand will be less and if the government want to change this equilibrium from e to e2 then the sub demand will supply will be less and demand will be high in this situation the rbi will release the holded dollars for the supply in this case the government the rbi will intervene to purchase the dollars in this case the rbi will start uh, uh, start to release the holded dollars okay because of the demand is more when compared to the supply so when the government decreases the rupee value it is called devaluation and when the government increases the rupee value it is called revaluation anyhow rbi will intervene in any cost when there is excess of demand or where there is excess of supply i hope you are clear again i'll go through, through with the diagram so that you may understand it so this is the exchange rate okay here is the exchange rate it can be of rupee or dollar and this is the foreign exchange this is the amount of foreign exchange example dollar okay this is supply this is demand where the demand is equal with the supply this is equilibrium okay when if e1 e2 e1 when we go through demand is less supply is more e2 supply is less 
demand is more. You can see excess of supply to which we can keep the number A and B. Okay. So now here what you need to understand that when the government want to increase export, it will show you the rupee value as very cheaper by fixing higher exchange rate. Okay. Like instead of rupees 70 instead of rupees 50. Okay. By that what happens? Equilibrium switches from E to E1. Here we are having less of the demand and more of the supply of the dollars. In by that, if there is excess of supply, the RBI intervenes to absorb this excess of supply. Okay, and in this situation, when the government tries to, uh, uh, when there is more import, okay, on that time what happens? Okay, the equilibrium shifts from E to E2. Okay, in this what will happen? The supply will be less and demand of the money will be more in this case the rbi need to which and all the money he was holding he need to release that holding so that they can meet with the demand why because supply is less and the demand of the dollars is more so that is what when the government decreases the rupee value it is called devaluation when the government increases the rupee value it is called revaluation okay so anyhow the government will intervene okay uh, so in this case the government will intervene to absorb the supply of the dollars in this case the rbi will intervene to release the holding of the dollars so that they can meet with the demand of the dollars so that is it i hope you are very clear with the concept thank you so much for watching